Well, proponents of wind power say this clean energy could all by itself meet our country's energy needs within 10 years. But one big hurdle still exists, getting the wind energy from where the wind blows to where it's needed most. That's why OG&E Energy Corporation is proposing a new $250 million transmission line between Oklahoma City and their wind farms near Woodward. So without the transmission, we can't have wind power development. The developers can't get paid for selling their energy. And so that transmission backbone is absolutely critical to the development of uh, Oklahoma wind resources. Delaney says some estimate western Oklahoma's wind generating capacity at 20 million megawatts, which is more than triple what OG&E can now produce. Still, Delaney knows even in a state like Oklahoma, the wind remains an intermittent energy source. When the wind blows is when it's like this time of year, April, May, uh, we get the most sustained production. Uh, when it's 800 degrees out, we get nothing out of the wind farms. When it's 10 degrees out, we get very little out of the wind farms. That's when we really need it. So while OG&E is investing heavily into wind power, Delaney knows the winds of change can only blow so hard.